I've been getting some questions about the sunscreen from Hero Cosmetics, but I've tried it a few times. I like it, so I thought I would just put it on this morning. Anyways, this is a zinc oxide sunscreen, and it has a little bit of a green tint to it, so that's helpful for camouflaging redness. It's really moisturizing, and the cast is not too bad. It's not water resistant though, so think of it more as a moisturizer with sunscreen, as opposed to something you would use if you were gonna be out at the beach or doing sport or you know engaging in something for a long time outside. Works well as an eye cream. Really moisturizing and the green tint kind of helps camouflage redness. Not too bad as far as a cast. getting some work done on the computer and got myself dressed and yeah I saw some comments actually on a video asking what are some causes of thinning eyebrows you can have thinning eyebrows as a result of low thyroid hormone I mentioned that in my video on signs of hypothyroidism which you guys really seem to enjoy and I got a lot of new people from that video so welcome anyways so low thyroid certainly can be uh, a cause for thinning eyebrows because thyroid hormone influences the hair growth cycle and so your eyebrows follow that same cycle but the proportion of eyebrow hairs in different stages of that cycle is somewhat different so it can be more noticeable basically on the eyebrows it's usually the lateral third of the eyebrows that thins out you also can have loss of the eyebrows as a result of autoimmune hair loss called the alopecia areata. Typically that presents with like a sudden bald patch that just appears out of nowhere. And with time it usually grows back, but some people can have more widespread involvement, including body hair, eyebrows, and or eyelashes. And when you lose your brows, that can be really devastating psychologically because a lot of our facial ability to recognize faces comes from eyebrows actually having eyebrows and then of course age-related change in the hair cycle leads to thinning including of the brow so those are some common reasons people with uh, atopic dermatitis can have thinning of the lateral brows probably because they have maybe a combination of another dry skin condition called keratosis pilaris which uh, you know usually on the face it affects the cheeks but it can affect the brows and you can have hair loss within those patches so I just threw on this barley vine sweatshirt. Underneath it, I have this tank top that I got from Amazon in like a three pack, it's very silky. And then these joggers are from Abercrombie and I love them. This has been like a cozy weekend outfit favorite. But speaking of outfits, one thing I wanted to show you guys, I got this hat from Cooley Bar. You'll know I'm a huge fan of sun hats. And isn't it cute? It's gonna be great for the summer. I think it'll look cute with like a little dress. It looks kind of odd with this big sweatshirt on, but I wanted to show it to you guys. You can adjust the, you can adjust the um, head diameter. To keep the world safe from sun damage, protect those who suffer from a sun-related medical condition and prevent everyone else from developing one. Yeah, one size fits all. I love their hats. They, they hold up really well. They're good construction. This time of year, a lot of things come up having to be renewed. Like I just had to renew my DEA license and I also had to renew um, like a bunch of passwords. I am pretty good about keeping track of passwords. It's the time where you need to change them that I need a reminder. For example, this software that I use for patient care, I have to update my password pretty frequently. And the system like hits me with a bunch of text messages like your password is going to expire in two days. Your password is going to expire in two days. And it sends it out like two times in triplicate. 
and it's like, gotcha. I'm here at the Croge, and I'm thinking I'm gonna get some asparagus. I've been in the mood for that lately. I don't know. Mm hmm. This looks new. Hello, Bello, SPF 50. It's probably a good choice for sensitive skin around the eyes, but otherwise, it, I'm guessing, if I were just gonna guess, I bet it's a little shiny. They also have a spray. Now with sprays, you do need to rub these in after you give yourself a mist. What's this one? SPF 55 mineral sunscreen. That one looks like a good option too. I've not seen these. Banana Boat has a little baby SPF mineral sunscreen here. This is a hybrid sunscreen or combination sunscreen, so less of a cast probably than like this Hello Bella one, which is all zinc. These Nivea breathable body lotions. Tropical Breeze. Shea butter moisturizer. Fresh fusion. Acne Free is a brand. They also have an Adapalene gel. Same drug, different branding. You know, there's also, of course, Differin. Speaking of Differin, did you guys see they reformulated their Dark Spot Correcting Serum? It no longer has hydroquinone in it. Now it's just basically niacinamide. Sea Buckthorn Oil, which is good. I like using that. It's a good moisturizing ingredient. Way to compete Nature's Bounty with a candy vitamin market. Nature's Bounty went full on Easter Bunny with their jelly beans. I wonder if these have gelatin in them. They don't. This one has vitamin C, D, and zinc. Four jelly beans has five grams of sugar. Four jelly beans is a serving. See, I love jelly beans, but it can be hard to find them that are free of gelatin. So I'm bummed that Nature's Bounty didn't just come out with plain candy. <laughs> so I don't want to OD on zinc and B12. It looks like Neutrogena came out with a new spray tan with argan oil. I tried their Build-A-Tan a long time ago. Very strong scent, but it was okay. Almost tanner dihydroxyacetone. It actually has been shown to help protect the skin from uh, UVA rays. Plus it's good for camouflaging things that you don't like varicose veins and stuff. Kind of helps camouflage that. I'm not opposed to sunless tanners. Well hey guys I just finished on my treadmill and I'm doing this new thing where I try and do a little bit of cleaning at the end of the day for just like a few minutes. I'm gonna clean my sink. I always find that to be relaxing but this thing as I clear off my sink I got this on Amazon like a year, year and a half ago. I love it. It is a, dry, a drying rack that you just put over your sink. And the best part is it rolls up so you can get it out of the way. And you can put it in the dishwasher. It's amazing. I love it because like when you're chopping stuff or using a spoon or whatever, you kind of wash it by hand and then you can just pop it on here and let it air dry. It's great too for like my drinking straws, my reusable drinking straws. Like I rinse them out, clean them by hand and then just let them dry on here. Amazing. Anyways, of course I got you guys all set up to do this. And what do you do? Your battery is gonna die. So I'm gonna change your battery and reposition. And I also got these gloves on Amazon a long time ago. And I likewise love these because First of all, you don't ever want to do like dishes and stuff by hand. Of course, you couldn't really do dishes with these, but what I'm saying is like the detergent and stuff, it wreaks havoc on your hands. Um, so I like to use these for cleaning my sink so I don't have to touch like the soapy water and ruin my, ruin my hands. This Dawn Power Washer stuff, I bought this a couple of, I feel like a couple of years ago, but it must have been a year ago because it was all the rage on YouTube. Like there were a lot of people doing sponsorships with this, like a lot of the cleaning channels. And I got it and at first I wasn't too impressed with it and I'm still not like blown out of the water with it. But what I love about it is the power of the spray. Like the spray is really strong. Um, and it spreads well as opposed to other things. Now, of course, you could just get like regular Dawn, but I think this is concentrated and it works really well around my garbage disposal to get the coffee stuff out. So I just spray it on because like scintillating. And then I just use these little grippies to clean my sink. <laughs> Yeah, I know a lot of people say don't go to bed with a 
without cleaning your sink. I think that is a good habit to get into. But my sink doesn't get that dirty that often, so I feel like maybe once or twice a week of doing this is enough. and website and I was blown away. They have this like special strip to store the knives up off the counter. I've just been keeping mine in my box because it came with like this little plastic nubbin that you can put on the tip and I just feel like that is keeping it protected. I am horrible with keeping knives in good shape. So far so good. I've had it for like several months now. Anyways I'm just gonna wipe off the countertop i don't know why countertops get so crumbly but they do since we're sharing kitchen items this is that grab go power degreaser i get this on iherb and i love it it is good for getting off like sticky stuff on the counter and it smells pretty good too they have an unscented one but I was watching this cleaning channel of like a cleaning expert, like somebody who's a professional home cleaner, has like a business cleaning houses. And she gave a tip, which I'm not gonna do now because I'm lazy. I mean, I guess the ring light kind of does it, but she says that you should go over like work surfaces with a flashlight so you can see if there's still crumbs and stuff. She gave this one tip for wiping down shower mirrors that made so much sense. She said, go in an S back and forth instead of like up and down because you end up dragging the dirt all around and it takes longer to clean. I thought that was brilliant. Yeah, that sounds like the kind of practical knowledge that they would have provided in home ec. I don't know. I never got the opportunity to take home ec. It was already done away with by the time I was of that age. I wish they still, oh, maybe they did have home ec. I don't know. I think they call it something else because I do recall there being this class that was optional where they would have you carry around an egg as if it were your child. It was to teach kids that being a parent comes with a lot of responsibility. And like, if you broke the egg, then you failed the class and you had to carry it around in like a little basket I didn't end up take. I didn't have to take that class. I think it was optional. But maybe in there, there were some life skills that were that were taught, like changing changing a tire. I don't know. That would have been auto shop, which I do believe our school had. Wow, it's been a long time since I have thought about my high school curriculum. Just judged myself up some electric turmeric tea. I did two packets in this jumbo, beautiful mug that a viewer sent to my PO box a while ago. I love it because it's got a thumb rest here and it holds the heat really well. I sweeten this with these monk fruit pumpkin spice drops and it is delicious, highly recommend it. Well, hey guys, just finished up the shower per usual. I got my Keep Calm, no, Romain Calm and Carrot On. This was a gift from a viewer. It came to my P.O. box a long time ago. And this shirt is one of those unicorn fabrics in that, you do you ever get a t-shirt and it's just, it matures well as far as the washings. It remains soft, but almost gets like a little bit softer. And as it wears, it just, I don't know, it becomes like second skin almost. This t-shirt, this fabric is it. Yeah, clothing can definitely play a role in skin problems. Not only clothing, the dyes of course and fabrics can be irritating to the skin. I mean, only if you're sensitive to them, but a lot of people are and don't realize it. And then of course your laundry detergent. One thing I wanted to chat with you guys about is, you know, I get a lot of comments about, can, what's the best retinol out there and retinol it's a cosmetic ingredient it's not like a retinoid that you get by prescription or adapalene so there's a lot of variability in terms of the quality because it's a cosmetic ingredient brands don't have to show efficacy they don't have to show that their formulation is stable or anything like that so it becomes very difficult impossible to actually 
make that kind of claim that a, one retinol is superior to another. I always recommend like the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair or L'Oreal brand retinols because they're a large, you know, conglomerate. They have a lot of R&D behind their products. But more expensive doesn't necessarily mean better. Just like with clothing, more expensive does not necessarily mean better. You know, medical grade, it's just a type of marketing. It does not equate to efficacy. And a lot of times these companies that have like medical grade lines, you have to be like pay attention. A lot of times they have they're you know, the same umbrella as the smaller drug store brands like you know L'Oreal owns Skin Ceutical, which is really expensive. So in my experience, my opinion, you don't need to spend a lot of money on anything. I will say I will drop some coin on food and I am always interested in trying out like exotic foods, different, you know, trendy foods and stuff. I will always, I'm willing to, like, I don't think twice about spending a lot of money on any kind of food item. And I'm grateful that I have the means to do that. Um, that's kind of what I feel like is worth it to me to spend a lot of money on because I don't know, I, I firmly believe and know that what you put in to your body pays off. It is a good investment. So I, I don't mind spending a lot of money. That being said, I'm not somebody who goes out to eat that much, but if it's like groceries or some kind of novelty ingredient, I will definitely try it out and get hooked and be spending an insane amount of money on it. Like, who remembers back when I was into Beauty Dust and my coffee? I kicked that habit. I hadn't missed it and it was expensive, but I really got into that. And then I found Four Sigmatic, which kind of replaced that. So yeah, it's just kind of a giving my coffee an earthy flavor. And I love Four Sigmatic, so I've never felt compelled to go back to Beauty Dust. And I haven't heard about it. I wonder if it still exists. I should go online and resurrect that. Now I'm doing the Peak Tea Turmeric Tea, and I love that. I've been having that every night. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I hope you had a great day today. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I greatly appreciate you all watching me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.